everybody. Kim Mance from Gallivanting, and I am here at the Adventures and Travel Expo in Chicago. And I've seen a lot of really cool things, and I just saw an awesome presentation by Peter McBride. He is a contributing writer and uh, photographer for National Geographic, Adventure Magazine, and some of their other publications. So I'm going to ask him a few, a few quick questions um, about taking awesome photos while you're traveling. And he is an expert, so here we go. So, Pete, you've been all over the world. You've photographed everything from Antarctica to shamans in Guatemala. Tell me, what would you give a novice traveler um, for your top tips on taking great photos? My top tips for taking great photos, uh, number one would be patience. You, ha you can't be rushed. Uh, number two would be, if you're photographing people, to, um, um, again, be patient, but, but try to... Um, establish a, uh, a dialogue, a friendship, a relationship, throwing cameras in people's faces, nobody likes it. Imagine, uh, imagine if you're being photographed, how would you like to be treated? That's the main rule. And then um, I guess number three would be, um, um, especially in today's world of digital, take, uh, don't just take one picture of a great scene, take, take a bunch. Think of the camera as a notebook. And um, would you just take one note if you're inspired by something, or would you take a bunch? Um, so get up close, get far away, get from a different angle. Uh, they call it working the scene. So I, I would, uh, those would be my three tips. Number one, though, is always being patient. And you can't force pictures. You just have to let them happen a little bit. Cool. Well, you said that you were, you've been to over 50 countries or so. Um, what came first, photography or travel photography? What came first? I, I was actually a writer. I still do a little bit of writing. Um, boy, I don't know. I probably had a little bit of a travel bug before. I did a, I didn't know what I was doing after college, so I, I saved all my money and went to South America and bought a motorcycle and rode a motorcycle 10,000 miles through South America with a friend, hoping to get back to Colorado. We didn't make it. But I fell in love with travel and road, I guess. And um, also, it opened up my eyes to, to documenting um, places and, and experiences. Awesome. OK, so in all your travels, where is the best cup of coffee? Where Have you found it? I'm still looking. Um, it, I should know this, because my grandfather managed a coffee finca in Guatemala. And I've had very good coffee in Guatemala, but in, in most coffee-producing countries, they export the good coffee, places like Ethiopia and Kenya. So you end up getting instamatic coffee in those places. So, tough one to say, but um, I do think that I've had a, a, a one good cup once in a little tiny um, private residence or a friend in the, on, the, on the kind of the the foothills of Mount Kenya. So we'll, we'll go with that one for now until I find the next. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out from the expo and talking to me. Appreciate it, and happy travels. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, you know what? I know what my best coffee is. My best coffee was actually on a boat in Antarctica after scuba diving. That sounds about right. Hot water, but <laughs> I was so cold, that was the best cup of coffee I've had, I think. You heard it here. Go to Antarctica to find the best coffee.